Good afternoon, our dear learners and viewers. You welcome to this session, primary four mathematics being taught by Chair Robert. I'm going to talk about issues concerning addition and subtraction in this class of primary four. But in the previous session, I talked about addition and subtraction. It was using general addition and subtraction. But in this lesson, I want to emphasize addition and subtraction of numbers, but basically using what we are calling a number line. So this idea was introduced in your earlier classes of P2, where you talked about a number line. But could be before you go to the number line, we need to review, to revise what we talked about. When we talk about addition, there are some other related words we talked about. We said when we talk about addition, we mean to get the sum. Or to put things together and get one. They might be two, three, or four. You put them together and you get their total. Then when we talk about subtraction, we use the sum words like minus, take away, and of course getting the difference. Those words have the same meaning as subtraction. I've said addition means getting the sum or getting the total or putting things all together. But when we talk about subtraction, we talk about the difference or taking away or minus. That is what we mean by subtraction. So we are just going to use the same meaning to actually understand what we are calling addition and subtraction on a number line. Let me start from addition. Addition using a number line. Addition on a number, a number line. We can just use this example to understand it better. Example. One, in the first example, they are saying using a number line, using, using a number line, add, add could be three plus two, okay? The question is specific. At this level of P4, we can have such kinds of questions. They can even be set at a primary seven level. The question is specific. You might look at it and say the question is too cheap. Yes, it is too cheap. But the concern is adding these two numbers using a number line. They can be two, they can be three, and so on, according to what the examiner intends to ask you, but of course the minimum number is always 2. So we are adding 3 plus 2. We need to ask ourselves, what is a number line? So in your primary 2, you talked about a number line, but in, in short, a number line is an arrangement where we draw an horizontal straight line, then we give it sides, okay? But at this level, later on in primary 5, we shall look at a detailed or a number line with the two sides. But at this level of P4, we are going to concentrate on a number line which is one-sided, having only positive counting numbers or positive natural numbers, okay? So we shall draw a number line. This is an arrangement where a horizontal line, horizontal straight line is drawn, right? After drawing it, you put an arrow onto it, pointing to the right hand side. Then at each starting point, you put a starting point as natural number zero, right? So after showing this one, we need to be aware of the numbers. We are supposed to indicate numbers on this number line. From point zero, going to the right hand side, where the arrow has been put. We must be careful that when we are putting the numbers, the counting numbers are going to show on the line will draw. The segments, each digit or each number or each counting number takes a single segment. 
But in between the segments, the distance needs to be maintained uniform. It must be equal, in other words. So we shall put the first segment and you put the first number as one. You go and represent the second segment and you put the number, next number as two. Be careful to see that at least these distances between the numbers are equal. Then we shall have another one as three. Then we shall have another segment which is taking number four. Another segment which is taking number five. Another segment which is taking number six. Number six. Then another segment which is taking number seven. We can stop at that because when you look at the numbers that have been given, they are not too big to go beyond what we put on the number line. So what does this one mean? When we are adding the numbers on a number line, we are supposed to look at the right hand counts, the right hand counting of steps. Okay? The question tells us to move with three steps to the positive or to the right hand side or forward. We shall move forward by going to the right hand side of the number line we draw. In the first place, we can make it three counts forward. So from point is zero to go to number one, that is one step. Then from number one to go to number two, that is the second step. Then from number two to go to number three, that is the third step. But we should just take these three steps at once. So I can use the ruler to make these counts. These are three steps together, all of them. So these ones are three steps. I can even put it here, all right? Then since they are telling us to add, they are telling us to move more two steps to the right. I will just start from where I ended with the first movement. Then I will count two steps going to the right of the number line. So from number three to number four, that is one step. Then from number four to number five, that is the second step. Therefore, the two steps are actually from number three to number five. I can be in position to represent it like this. So these are two steps. I can put it, no problem. So where I end becomes the answer. You can simply circle this one where it ended. Later on in primary five we shall see how to deal with this one or represent the total steps. But at this level we can give this one. Therefore our three plus the two using a number line gives us the answer as a five. Right? This can be one of the ways of what about such a number. However, we can also use the second option. This is option A. I can use the next way, B. I can still draw our good number line like this. Okay? At the starting point, there is a zero. Then there is an arrow at the end, at the extreme right. They represent the counting numbers. The first segment is for number one. The second one is for number two. The third one is for number three. The fourth one is for number four. The fifth one is for number five. The sixth one is for number six. The seventh one is for number seven. I can't stop at that. Then they are telling me to count three steps forward or to the right. From point is zero, I will count three steps. How do I count them? From zero to go to one, that is one step. Then from one to go to two, that is the second step. Then from two to go to three, that is the third step. But you must take them in a single move. So I will have this one from point is zero up to number three. So those are three steps forward. Then from there, I will also count more other two steps. So how do I count them from three? From three to go to number four, that is one step. Then from four to go to number five, that is the second one. So I will be in position to indicate the two steps. And where I stop becomes my answer. I can put these ones. This is a three, this is a two. So where I stop becomes my answer. Therefore, I can say three 
plus C2 using a number line, I've been in position to get the answer as 5. Either way, I can use the first option I've used using the straight line to count the steps in forward, or I can use the groups that are seen in the second option of B. Okay? That is what we do with addition. But we can also have more than two numbers being added using a number line. Without taking a lot of time, I also look at the subtraction. 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 On a number line. On a number. On a number line. Subtraction on a number line. We can use one example, we can have this one, we can have this example. Work out, the question says, work out, let me use probably 6 minus 4 on a number line. So this question is, the way we answer this question is an opposite of what we did in addition. So we talked about addition as a forward movement when we are adding on the number line. But when we are looking at subtraction on the number line, we mean backwards movement. You count the steps backwards or from actually, you count the first steps as being positive, then the number you subtracting, you count it backwards. It involves both forward movement and backward movement. In simple terms, when we look at subtraction on a number line, both forward and backward movement shall be used. Okay? Yet, in addition, using a number line, we concentrate at only using forward movement, just one direction to the right. But in subtraction, you move right first, then you move left. First, so I'm saying the forward and backward movement with the subtraction on a number line are very important. So to answer this question in the first place, I'm just going to draw up my horizontal straight line. Okay? To make it a number line, I must have the arrow on its right. Then at the start, I will start from point zero, right? Then I divide it into different segments using the counting numbers. But I say be careful, the segments in between the numbers, the distance needs to be uniform or equal. So the first segment is for number one, the second one is for number two, the third one is for number three, the fourth one is for number four, the fifth one is for number five, sixth one is for number six, then the seventh one is for number Seven. So I can stop at those numbers, right? So in the first place, I can use the first one of counting the six steps using an arrow. So from point zero, I will count the six steps. You just count the distances between the numbers. From zero to one, that is one step. From one to two, that is the second step. From two to three, that is the third one. From three to four, the fourth one. From four to five, the fifth one. Then from five to number six is the sixth step. But be careful, you take them at once. So from point zero, I will be in position to represent the six steps using this straight line. From point zero to number six. Those are six steps, okay? But since I said in subtraction the forward and backward movements are very important, I have moved the forward to represent six steps. Now I'm going to count out of these six steps, I'm going to count four of them but backwards. So from where I've ended at the sixth point, I'm going to count the four steps backwards to mean I'm subtracting. Where I end becomes my answer. So from 6 to go to 5, I'm going backwards because of subtraction. From 6 to 5, that is one step. From 5 to 4, backwards, that is the second one. From 4 to 3, that is the third one. Then from 3 to 2, that is the fourth one. Remember, subtraction means backward movement. So I'll be in position to write 
or to draw up this arrow, one arrow representing the four steps have moved backwards out of six. So where I've ended becomes my answer, and therefore my six take away four gives me two as the answer using the number line, right? So that is one option. Let me also call it option A. If I don't use that option, I can use the second option. Let me call it B. Still, it tells me to draw up a number line, which is a straight horizontal line. Mark it, just like we've done it in the first place. Put an arrow on the right to show that it is a number line. The first segment is for number one. The second one is for number two. Third one, number three. Fourth one, number four. Fifth one, number five. Sixth one, number six. Seventh one, for number seven, right? Then from here, I'll be in position to first represent six steps forward. Remember, in subtraction, we have forward movements and backward movements, okay? And the six steps, I count them from point to zero. You count the distances. So from zero, I actually make up this kind of movement up to number six, right? Then the subtraction, it tells me out of the six steps I've made, I can count four of them, but backwards. So from six, I will just count the steps backwards. From six to go to five, that is one step backwards. From five to go to four, that is the second step backwards. From four to go to three, that is the third step backwards. Then from three to two, that is the fourth step backwards. So we shall be in position to count all of the four steps backwards together, okay? Where I end becomes my answer. Therefore, we can say 6 minus 4 gives us the answer as 2. So either way, I can use option A or option B, but either way gives the same answer. That is subtraction and addition of numbers using a number line. So because of time, I want to end up with this by this lesson. I think you'll be able to enjoy it. But don't forget to answer some questions after this lesson. Just below this lesson, there are some numbers. Thank you so much for your attention. So at the end of the lesson, these are the numbers you're going to answer. I think you'll be in position to answer them very well. Meet you next time in the next session. Robert Light Academy. Don't forget to check on Light Academy National Private School website page for more of this work. Thank you so much.